happened? What happened? Medic Singleton. Medic Singleton. Did my dog get out? What happened? I tased you? People often underestimate how hard it is being an officer of the law and may deal with many taxing situations on a daily basis. These tough and often emotional moments are caught on body cam. So from moments where a deputy breaks down after a shooting... Dude, what the f***, man? You did what you had to do. What the f*** did he do that for? Take some deep breaths, brother. To a young kidnapped child who was found. Boy being electrocuted. First up is a nail biting case that happened on the 30th of August 2022. The Warren Police Department dispatched officers to a local school. And to everyone's horror, they discovered a young boy lying in a patch of water on the ground. He was actively being electrocuted, and the officers had mere minutes to react. Stay back! 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 Where's the wire? Where's the wire? Where's the wire? Come here! With no other option and time running out, the officer decided to risk his life and crawl closer to the young boy. Within a few tense moments, he is pulled to safety. Everyone breathed a sigh of relief when the boy showed signs of consciousness, but they were not out of the woods yet. And it was a tense wait until the ambulance arrived. No! Oh, watch him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You there, buddy? Oh, he's still breathing. Hey, buddy. Stay there, buddy. Come on, come on. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. Get him in a position. Hold on. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Just hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, buddy. Take the backpack off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay. Get back. There's a wire here. Get back. Come on, we're all we're all there. Let's get him. Uh, yeah. Hey, our suspect running back eastbound. Just take out Hey, buddy. Do you know where you are? Eastbound, the two blocks up. You just saw him? Yes, he just ran eastbound, two blocks up. <laughs> Come on, bud. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, bud. Okay. Okay, bud. Okay, bud. What's your name? Yeah. We're with you, buddy. We're with you, okay? Okay. The officers could not wait any longer and decided to load the boy into the police car to take him to the hospital themselves. The ride to the hospital was incredibly stressful, with the officers trying their best to keep him conscious until they could get help. Once the boy came to, it was clear that he was in a lot of pain since the car was filled with the most heartbreaking cries. Give me one more just to help. I got two. One, two, three. Motor one, two, three. Two, twelve. Shut down the intersection. Which way you guys want to go? Main. Main. All the way north on Prospect, 412. Yeah, Main. Going to Main. Going to Main. Going to Main. Going to Main. Yeah, 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 yeah. One more. Get one more back there with him. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Uh, Must not go, go to, go to Maine. Okay. Which yeah. way are they going? Down Let's Maine. go 8 mile. Take Shader at 8 and go. Eight. Or you can go Shader all the way to 7, then left. 7 turns into Maras. Even though the officers tried their best to comfort the boy, there was nothing they could do but drive faster to get to the hospital. When they arrived moments later, the boy was immediately handed to hospital staff and treated. What a close call, but this was some very heroic police work. Here you go, you're in the police car, buddy, you're in the police car. We're with the police, all right? 
We're gonna go to the hospital, okay? Hold on. The boy was treated at the hospital for his injuries and made a recovery thanks to the bravery of the officers. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up now. 58, I got one at gunpoint. Okay, just put your hands out of the car. Okay? Deputy breaks down. On the 30th of May, 2022, a Union County Sheriff's deputy responded to a 911 call that was made to the Marysville, Ohio Police Department. The caller reported a man brandishing a firearm and making wild threats, so the officer was on full alert when he responded. Unfortunately, no one could have expected just how badly this was going to end. Get him out here. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up now. 58, I got one at gunpoint. Okay, just put your hands out of the car. Okay? Okay, we'll figure it out, but we have a report of a gun, okay? Okay, you need to chill out and stand over there now. Okay, step out of the car for me, bud, okay? Step out of the car for me now. The cop pulled up to the scene to find the suspect unwilling to comply with his orders. Things escalated incredibly quickly when the suspect pulled a firearm on the officer. Training kicked in and the officer immediately returned fire and all the witnesses immediately started panicking. The officer called in for backup and secured the weapon only for the witnesses to shout at him that the suspect was only holding a BB gun. Get out of the car. Keep your hands out. Drop the gun. 58 shots fired, shots fired. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Back away, back away from him. Back away. Don't touch it, don't touch it. You're the baby guy. How am I supposed to know that? Back away from him so we can get him help. Back away no. from him so we can get him help. No. Stay with me. Stay with me. Resuscitation efforts were not successful. And the entire situation was a disaster since the witnesses were still being loud. A whole team of other officers had arrived on the scene, and this was when the officer took his chance to step away and gather his thoughts. We didn't get there, you didn't get there. All right. There, there you go. Dude, what did he do that for? Come on. poor officer was incredibly shaken up and in tears and the shock of what happened finally hit him. He sat in his patrol car for the rest of the investigation, with multiple officers stopping by to offer their support and sympathies. Do you think this could have gone down any differently? You mean get you anything? Can you grab my water out of my cruiser? Yeah. It's up there, Sean. It's up there. 67. <laughs> The officer was placed on paid administrative leave pending an investigation into the shooting. What happened? What happened? Medic Singleton. Medic Singleton. Did my dog get out? What happened? I tased you? Do you have your taser out? Where are you? 
accidentally shot in back. During a fateful investigation on the 8th of January 2019, things very quickly went very wrong. The Lafayette police officers were conducting a search of a local house, and the owner had given them permission and let them inside once she crated her dog. Things were off to a good start, but no one could have guessed what was about to happen next. If you, if you don't mind, when you unlock the door, if you don't, if you just want to, I mean, you can, you're welcome to go in if you want to check, make sure your dog's locked up. But if your dog, know, if you know your dog's dog locked up, she's cool. Dark and scary, but she, I promise That's she's okay. good in her case. As long as she ain't going to get out, we then we're good. Out. Thank you. And absolutely nobody can be inside. Nobody else has a key? No. Okay, perfect. Well, she has a key, but... Well, I'm saying I want to make sure you're going to get surprised. Yeah, no, nobody's inside. Cool. Lafayette 367. Let me, can I just look in there yeah. and make sure that my dog just... She's not if you would make sure that we're showing apartment number two, same numerics, but number, apartment number two. Copy, we're being given uh, consent to go inside and look, we'll be inside. You just want to step right over there, hon, and we'll be right back. Department. Anybody inside? Come out now. Make yourself known. Go right. Check this kitchen. You want to hold left. Yeah. The search of the house was going well so far, and the cops had not run into any issues yet. This was until the dog somehow nudged its crate open. The officers then all ran outside, but not before one of the bullets ricocheted and went through the door to hit the female officer. We're clear. All good. Yeah. I mean, let's check. Yeah. Hey, what happened? What happened? Medic Singleton. Medic Singleton. Did my dog get out? What happened? I tased you? Do you have your taser out? Where are you? Where are you shot? Okay. Hey, relax. Did you have your taser out? Where are you? Right here, right here, right here, right here. Lafayette 367. Medic signal 10. Start ship command. Stay with us. No, no, no. Okay. It's hooked. Okay, let me see, babe. Come here. Listen up, baby. Come here. Where's your, where's your vest? Get your vest undone. Okay, let's see if it's through. Roll over on your side, baby. Okay, come here. The two male officers were trying to take off her vest and assess her injuries, and the ambulance was already on their way. It was obvious that she was very dazed, and one of the officers ran off to bring a squad car closer. Yeah, come on, baby. You're, come here, baby. It's okay. Dispatch, we got an officer who's been shot. My car over here. Oh Sit down right here. I'm going to get my car. Right there. Secure this. Secure that. Put pressure on that. On her back. Time was running out, and in a desperate attempt to save the officer's life, she was loaded into the squad car and rushed to the nearest hospital. They met the ambulance along the way, and the officer was immediately treated. Hey, get my hey, no. Hey, no. Hey, hey, it's, it's in, get her in here. We're taking her to the hospital right now. Open it. We're taking her right to the hospital ourselves. Get in. Slide over, baby. Hang on, door, door, door. Go. Pressure, set up, baby. Pressure. Guys. Hey, guys. baby, look at me. Right Lay. there's the ambulance, guys. Ambulance, stop here. Get us out of this door. It's locked. Get, Get us out. Right here. Right here. Get in the ambulance. Come here, baby. Let's go, baby. Come on. 
Come here, stay secure, let's go. Side door. You're fine. Come, Come on, on, baby. No, 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 Come on, baby. You're almost there. Come here, baby. Let's get all of her gear off once we get there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What happened? She's in the shot. Right back here. I fucked up. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. We're almost there. Let's go get her up there. The officer made a full recovery and was back at the job after just three months. We already talked about it, okay? Okay. What are you want to hang on to her? Right, don't. Uh, don't go see Del for he dies. He's dead. No, it's not, Grandma. I know he is. She wants to just Well, I, I go out there where he's at and I'll stay. I ain't right, coming. I keep walking. I won't come home tonight. I'll stay over there. Woman with Alzheimer. It was the 4th of January when the Columbus Police Department noticed a frail, elderly lady walking by herself in town. The old lady was suffering from Alzheimer's, and this wasn't the first time she'd gotten herself into a dangerous situation. The officers made contact, and this is what happened. Uh, we're, we're in front of the... Well, so I'm about to make contact. Yeah. Older lady. Uh, uh, by High Street, in front of the Lowe's. Let's see if I can help her. Hey, ma'am? Are you okay? No, I'm just making Grove City. I'm making Grove City, huh? Are you going to the Target? My son is he's gone, and I want to go back there and see him for who dies. Why don't I give you a ride? Huh? I could give you a ride. Well, would you do that? Sure. Okay. Why don't I? I gotta get this stuff. What's that? I gotta get this stuff. It's crazy. I'll pick it up. Are you walk okay? My back's hurting me so bad. No, I don't think I can. Walk. If I know this, I wouldn't start it out like this. Okay. Why don't we? Where do you live at? Huh? Where do you live at? I, I just live down on... The officer managed to get a story out of the old lady, and he was about to offer her a ride to where she needed to go. However, when he went to pull in his car closer, her family arrived and informed him of her condition. They requested that the officers just kept her calm and contained until another female member arrived to take her to a hospital. Hold on. What are we doing with this one? I'm going to go take her somewhere. To where? Around. Hold on. No, not today. She doesn't. I gotta go. Someone's talking. Um, that's another officer. Do you know her or something? My grandmother. She's got Alzheimer's. Oh, okay, is that what's going on? Yeah, she does this every day. Can yes. you guys take her to the psychiatric hospital and I'll meet you there with her? Oh, uh, which hospital? Columbus Springs. I can't take her there. We can only take them usually to um, like the major hospitals. And they have then, psychiatric uh, wards there? Mm -hmm. And then they can refer them to places like... Because I'm selling her house tomorrow, or else in my name, I'm selling it to put her in assisted living a lockdown, but this is what I find every day. Okay. She's going to get killed. Yeah, we had an officer, like, uh, he passed a about a week ago. ago, tell me about, she was trying to walk to Target over on Stringtown. No, she's trying to get to Monterey to go see her son. That's what she's saying today. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's been going. dying. It's got to be the last, the same woman. Yeah, he's been dying for two years. He ain't dying yet. Okay. The old lady was moved away from the road and the traffic, and it was visible that she was confused. She did have quite a bit of trouble moving around, so progress was slow. Is it your backer? My back's about to me. I guess I would have started out. I'll get back to you. Yeah. Uh, it'd be better if you guys pulled up here. Might be easier instead to get of me taking her to, to you. Why don't we try to like prop her up against the car? Yeah, here, try to get her against the top car and lean against it, okay? Then lean yeah. against that and side they're there. Grab their car. Okay. Come on, keep okay. going. I'm half afraid to fall. Am I going to fall? Nope, I got you. Okay. The lady was starting to complain more about the pain she was feeling, and after quite a substantial number of strained attempts, she was finally able to sit down in the front seat of the cop car. Thankfully, her family was around and help was on the way. Oh, four, 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 four,
you know, she's on fair coil and everything else, but this is still what I deal with. Yeah, that's, that's tough. That's yeah. bad. Did, did, did I you? see you before? Last week you saw another one of my uh, officer friends. Watch yourself. Oh, you want me? Where, where you want me to go to? This front seat right here. Oh God, my backs are killing me. Yeah, we're almost there. Oh, okay. I'd, Once we're there, they can probably get you a, a wheelchair. If I if I if I know that being this bad, I wouldn't start it out. I, I wouldn't. Have. Yeah. Can, I, can I? Can I? Can uh, I? Are you gonna? Oh, oh, you gonna hold to me? Yep. Please don't let me fall. Yep. Please don't let me fall. Okay. Oh. I don't know why she Oh, oh. Okay. But I Take it nice fall. and easy. Am I alright? Gotta hold up here, you're not gonna fall. Okay. Nice and easy. We're gonna wait for Thelma and we're gonna go up to the hospital and see if you're alright. I'm alright. Oh, I gotta make sure of that. I told you. make sure, okay? You told me earlier you was going to sleep. You didn't go to sleep. No. Of course, I'm worried about that. I don't want to lose him. I've already lost one and listen, I, can't, okay. I can't have no more. Grandma, listen. They, I, I, listen. No. They called and said he's fine and he was there yesterday. Okay? I want to see for myself. Grandma, you was there yesterday. I promise you. I didn't go. I didn't go in. Yes, you did. Heather and him took you yesterday. You went. I promise you. The old woman was taken to a local hospital for treatment. What's the problem today? We're homeless. We have no money. Because his brother stole every goddamn penny from us. Because he stole every penny from us, Rodney has decided he has to take everything out on me. Homeless couple. The Columbus Police Department were doing routine patrols when they received a call about a local domestic dispute. However, when they arrived, this situation was not quite what they were expecting. They approached a couple they knew well, and this is how their interaction with Rodney and Sarah played out. This is, this is Sarah and Rodney. Yep. Hey guys, what's going on? He's a d and I don't know how to get away from him. What's the problem today? We're homeless. We have no money. Because his brother stole every goddamn penny from us. Because he stole every penny from us, Rodney has decided he has to take everything out on me by screaming at me constantly. So I yell back, and then he gets pissed off and takes all my shit and throws it everywhere. And then I get even more pissed off and scream even more. And then I cry and cry and cry, and somebody calls the police, and here we are again. Nobody hit anybody. Nobody did anything stupid. I'm just pissed off. Do you need us to take you anywhere? I know, but you know there's places that you can go if you need help. It was clear that Sarah and Rodney had just fallen on hard times. Sarah went from being worked up to fighting back tears, but she tried her best to explain their tough situation to the officers. They needed to get to the bottom of things, but unfortunately, a yelling match broke out between the pair. Well, he didn't know that. She didn't know at all the mail went to the same address. She just was taking the mail and not saying anything. So she was not being responsible, uh, which included uh, when she decided to give his other brother John the card and say, I don't want to deal with it anymore uh, because he went to jail again and violated the Is there, yeah, is there still money coming in? There is. It came in on um, well, so August 2nd. He got $1,580, and that was set for July and August. His brother stole all of that. How do you steal it? Because he had his car. We were just now, just now. Baby, sir, I'm going to go to my friend's house every day. I love you, Rodney. Just now, he went to get his car back, and we were at his other brother's, and somebody uses his car. Man, we should that truck in there and sleep over there. Does he have a case manager or anything? No, he has a case manager. First month, he was okay. Okay. Why doesn't he have a case manager or anybody? That, I mean, yeah, I mean, I know we, because we can take people places, but you got to cooperate and... He's not doing it. 
I know, but... Rodney, I'm not talking about leaving you. I'm actually defending you. Shut the f*** up. Man, my family robbed him, man. Damn. I didn't let your family do it. They, I'm saying they robbed him. That's what I'm telling him. Somebody motherfuckers robbed him. That's what I'm telling him. Oh, Rodney, we're just trying to find a solution for you, okay? Think, sir, I'm, I'm trying to help. To get I know you do. Things. I'm going to go. You must have been. We have somewhere to live or at my aunt's house. Instead, we go chase some motherfuckers. Are you, doing, Are you kidding me? Hey, my friend Robbie, man. Rodney, what you need is a case manager that you can work with. Tensions were running very high, and the officer tried his best to offer some good advice from an impartial point of view. Rodney in the back was not a happy camper, but everyone moved over to where he was to get a better handle on things. He was briefly searched for safety reasons, and in the end, Sarah still tried to defend him. Free to be free to be not around him too, right? Like if you were to finally make that decision and say, look, in order to help him, I need to help myself. We can't be around each other for a little while. And you could get back on your, your feet, so to speak. Then you'd be in a better position to help him. But right now you're, you're both going through it together and you're not getting anywhere. I asked. I asked. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They don't need I'm right here. They don't need I'm right here. I'm not I don't need you. Good. You're not being arrested. You're gonna stick me, cut me. No, sir. Oops. You're good. You're good. I'm not detaining you, bro. He's not. They hold your hands back there. I know, man. So you've been arrested for possession of cocaine. Plus, you have felonious assault, man. I'm just protecting you and Nick. Yes, I don't know if it's okay for you, Honey, honey. I don't want to come. You're fine. Go sit down. Yes. You got anything? No, I was just trying to talk her into separating. Thank you, and Thank you all. It's not really going anywhere. Hey, Rodney, you got anything? Yeah, I'm just trying to talk her into separating. It's not really going anywhere. to get them off the streets, the officer shared some avenues they could try and even tried to motivate them with stories of other people in similar situations who had turned everything around. Do you think the officer handled this in the correct manner? The guy was even, one day, uh, there was a guy that I helped get off the street and I didn't know that he was off the street. Yes, sir. Uh, I went down to the speedway at Harrisburg, Pike, and Brown, okay, and yes, uh, he was leaning over the counter talking to the clerk. And I was I was messing with him. He was a skinny little white kid. Yes, sir. I came up and I grabbed him by the shirt collar, mm. and I go, "Hey, is this guy bothering you?" And he turned around. He had the biggest smile on his face. He's like, "Oh man, he wanted to give me a hug." He's like, "He's got a job at UPS now. He's got himself an apartment, and it's because he took the advice that I gave him." And he he told was me he that. Out here on the he was. I. Oh, yeah, and I can't remember his name. It, this was probably four or five years ago. Oh. But because the first time I met him. He was sleeping in an abandoned house in the wintertime with no heat, and he was calling 911 saying he was going to freeze to death, and I ended up helping him out, you know what I mean? Um, but he he did the right things, and then the funny thing is, after I helped him out, two weeks later, he ran from me, and I had to catch him, and he had some crack on him, so I had to take him to jail, but he, he it, it worked, I mean, he eventually got through it, so, yeah. Do you, hey Ronnie, do you know who your case manager is? Hey Ronnie, do you know who your case manager is? Do you know their name? Yes, sir. Give them a call. Do it today. Can you do that for me? Do it today while you're feeling good. Is that phone activated yet? Yeah. Yeah. This is dead. Okay. Only had it for what? Two days. How are you guys gonna charge it? We'll find a building around here that's got one outside. Okay. The officers and the couple parted on a good note, and hopefully they were able to get the help they needed. Can you show mama your pig? Look at your pig. <laughs> Annabelle Bittencourt, a local grocery store in New Mexico, called the police on the 16th of May, 2023, due to an ex-employee, Annabelle Bittencourt. She was intoxicated and making a scene in front of the store, driving around erratically and throwing trash at the doors. The officers responded swiftly to find quite a sticky situation waiting for them. Okay, we're getting calls on, I guess, outside screaming. Did you used to work here? No, I used to work here, yeah, but we're almost screaming right here. I'm sorry? We're almost screaming right here. I was just trying to wait for a little. But no, no, we saw they were like... Trying to buy something from 
Okay. Yeah. What? I guess they're out here saying you're streaming. No, no I was streaming because of the cameras. No, we're just in the car. Yeah. Okay. But you don't work here anymore? No, I don't work here. I've been working in like. About a couple months already. Okay. Did you just have your driver's license? Should I talk to you? Yeah. Do you guys have my Why were you yelling outside? That's what they called inside. You were yelling. yelling outside. You were yelling? Why did they call and say you were yelling? Well, they don't like me here, so I was just, I wanted to come to get food, but we were about to leave. Because I used to work here. I worked here for two years, but I don't work here anymore. Whose beer is that in Santa Console? Who is that? Whose beer is that in Santa Console? Whose beer is that? Annabelle's story definitely wasn't consistent with what the store told the officers. They were already off to a bad start anyway since there was an open alcohol container in the vehicle, and even worse, a young boy. Her brother was about to step out of the vehicle, and up next for her was a field sobriety test. Spoiler alert, it didn't go well. She comes into the store, well, for the yes, and she starts threatening the cashier there, starts saying all kinds of stuff to us and they kick her out. And she comes to this door, and they're like, hey, sorry, we're closed. She stays all the way back there, grabs a piggy bank, comes to the front. Would you like to do me a favor? Go step back over there, please. Thank you. Uh, grabs a piggy bank, goes walking. So she just puts it, she puts, she puts it down, starts yelling and screaming. Uh, she goes to walk out. They shut the door on her. She kicks the door, starts shaking it, gets in the car, driving around the parking lot, throwing out all this trash, and then flipping them off. They have surveillance of her driving the car in the parking lot. Um, I think he said that he's probably going to go to jail because he doesn't have a driver's license on him. He doesn't have a driver's license. He's on probation that he's, he's supposed to get his... Please don't take my brother away, please. Are you going to take him? No. I'm just I'm figuring out where he's from. Like, we're not supposed to, like... We just got a trespass today. Like, we just got him and we didn't... Once they started working up, she was working at first. Yeah, I was working at first, and she start, She like fired me for no reason. And then my old boss, I can show you messages. My old boss, he told me that I could work back here. But then when I tried to like reply, she keeps starting stuff with me. And, like, yeah. She keeps, yeah. Yeah, he's just in there just making sure everything's cool. Yeah, Adam, like, yeah, Adam, he's my boss. Yeah, he's my... How much, how much did you drink today? I only took a shot. Just that was shot, like earlier, kind of but like... What kind of shot was it? A 99, but that was like early in the morning. In the morning, around what time? About like 10 o'clock. What was it? 99 what? 99, just watermelon. Watermelon? Yeah. At 10 o'clock? Yeah. Okay. When Annabelle was placed in handcuffs, she burst into tears and then became extremely rude to the officer. Her brother's field sobriety test had the same result, and since both of them were taking a ride to jail, the young boy's grandmother was contacted to come pick him up. The poor boy was too cute for words, and the officers tried their best to distract him. So our concern right now is your kid. My mom? My kid! Hold on, relax. Oh my god. Y'all let me act like we're resisting arrest. Like we're not. I told you to relax. My kid! Um, go ahead and turn it off for me, man. So, let's see, would you now agree to be tested? Can I tell you the truth? I was smoking with two. Look, it sounds like you've been through this before, right? Yeah. How long ago was that? No, no, just last year in August. Yeah, here? Yeah. What'd you got there? Is that a stick? Yeah. Toshi. Whoa! I'm sorry, PD-196 five. 
Give me one nine six four. What else you got there? You got some snacks? <coughs> no snacks? Those are your snacks, really? <laughs> oh, and your phone? Yeah, then my daughter's. Oh, are you watching the show? Yes. Yeah, you're watching the show. What were you watching? Um, What's your name? <laughs> Annabelle. You're gonna hang out with. You're gonna hang out with Anthony for a little while. No. Yeah. This guy cool. right here. He's a cool dude. You're gonna hang out with him, okay? Mm -hmm. And then Mama's gonna go hang out with us for a little while, and then you're gonna hang out with Grandma. Grandma's gonna come get you. Before the ride to jail, Annabelle insisted on saying goodbye to her kid, although all she did was upset him even more. The boy was handling everything pretty well until she started sobbing and freaking out in front of him. Unfortunately, by the time they arrived at the jail, her attitude had gotten a lot worse. Well, she want, I think she wants them to tell their mom what to take out. Oh. Do you want to say bye to mama? Okay. Yeah? Oh, good. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Can you show Mama your pig? Look at your pig. <laughs> Don't cry. Don't cry. Okay. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. I'll be back. Okay. I was just Come on, we're going to go hang out with Anthony now, okay? Mama. <laughs> Annabelle was charged with DWI, open container of alcohol in a vehicle, and DWI with a minor in the vehicle. Her brother Miguel was charged with second offense DWI and DWI with a minor in the vehicle. I found a little car for you sitting down there. It's okay. It's all right, buddy. Rescue two-year-old. The Akron, Ohio police responded to a very harrowing call on the 1st of March, 2024. A man had run into a store briefly to grab something when a criminal took a chance and drove away with his truck. What the thief didn't know was that there was a two-year-old child in the back seat. The officers tracked the pickup truck to a local business center where witnesses were crowding the scene, and the suspect, Larry Spence, had fled on foot. Yeah. He's probably in the tap tap. Oh, hey, he might be in this tap tap. He might be in the tap tap. All these people outside here yeah, will dig his house is checking up okay. This tap, the, the truck's right there. Hey guys, let's get somebody on the uh, west side of this. I don't, he said he walked this way, but they're, they're claiming he's not down here. The officer questioned the witnesses who he believed may have had information on the suspect, and they evacuated a local business in search of him. Thankfully, the truck was located in the area, and the child was still inside. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. That guy just ki kidnapped his daughter. Okay, the daughter's in the car, so this is kind of a big deal. That's why everybody's here. I swear, I put it on my kid's life. Nobody, nobody went walked. That way. Where'd he go, though? I had to have been that way. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking to my grandma. Let's get the A. Let's get perimeter on the tap. Akron Police. Come out. Hey. Akron Police. Come out. Akron Police. Come out. Akron Police. Come out. Can someone call? Okay. Hey, hey, hey. All right, I can't see over there. I can't see. Hi. Right. Anyone inside? Come out now with your hands up! Hands up now. Alright, we got a male coming out to your right. 
Hey. How many people are in here still? Any white males in there? No. No. No white males Does anybody know what's going on there? No. Anyone else inside? Nobody else. 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 An officer approached the crying child and picked him out from the car, trying everything to calm him down, including offering snacks and reading his books. The poor baby was inconsolable though and just wanted his parents. My daddy. It's alright. My daddy. It's okay. Look, no. I found a little car for you sitting down there. No. It's okay. No. It's alright, buddy. No. No. It's alright. It's okay. Here, I'm gonna take you out. Okay, it's okay. Let's get you out of here. It's okay. Your jammy's wet. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Okay, here, let's look at some books. Yeah, I'm 23. Uh, I can go 45. You got some books here? You like, you like dinos? I like them. My, my little boy likes dinos. Okay. It's okay, buddy. Here, I'm going to lower this tailgate. You can sit, we can just sit right here, okay? You probably you probably been sitting there. Alright, thanks. Alright. How old are you? No. The baby was checked out by the paramedics and reunited with his parents, and he was thankfully completely unharmed. The officers moved on to Larry, who had been located in the meantime. He was cuffed and taken straight to the station. Mommy and Daddy wait. See this car? This is gonna drive you home. Here you go, see mom and dad. Yeah. Like my daddy's shoes. Yeah. Well, we're gonna go see Mama, okay? I see a white car, daddy's shoes. We're gonna go see Mama's, okay? Here, buddy. We were out in the area down in Canada. We're like, we're hoping we come back down this way. Alright, come see, boss. Larry Spence was charged with kidnapping, abduction, and grand theft of a motor vehicle. 